If you're looking for a tutorial that walks you through how to utilize the free version of Keywords Everywhere, then you have made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, we're just gonna dive into the free version of Keywords Everywhere. All right, let's get over to the screen share. Okay, so Keywords Everywhere is a browser extension. So in order to get it connected to your browser, you have to download it. And currently at the time of this recording, it's available for for Google Chrome users and Firefox users. So basically you just go to their website, keywordseverywhere.com. I will leave the link to that in the video description below. Head over there, choose which browser you're using, follow the instructions to set that up. Once it's set up in your browser, and I'm using Google Chrome just for reference for you guys. And so once it's installed in the browser, you'll see their cute little icon right here. Just make sure that it is turned on. Okay, so once Keywords Everywhere is turned on, using it is honestly as simple as doing a Google search, which is why I'm obsessed with this tool. So it's like, I'm an SEO strategist, but I do a lot of SEO education and strategy intensives for clients. And so a lot of my clients are wanting to learn how to do SEO keyword research, how to SEO optimize their websites themselves. This is one of the first tools that I suggest to clients because it's so easy to use. So let's hop over to a Google search. Search. So we're just going to run through some examples just so you can see kind of like what's happening. So after you put a keyword in here and you search it, then on the right hand side, you're going to start to see these widgets. OK, so this is basically what Keywords Everywhere populates for you. And they do a really good job at giving you enough data to be able to understand a keyword, even if you are new to SEO and even if you're only using the free version of their tool. So the first thing that we see here is SEO difficulty. So this number is out of 100 and the higher the number, the more difficult it's going to be to rank on page one. If you're a new website, if you're a new business, things like that, you're going to want to try to find a keyword that has a number of 50 or less. OK, so keep that metric in mind. And then the other thing that we have here is a brand query. So basically, like, is this keyword associated with a certain brand? Keywords everywhere says no. And the reason why this is so important is because if a keyword is associated with a certain brand, then it's going to be easier for that brand to show up on page one for that keyword. And it might be harder for the rest of us to show up. OK, so just keep that in mind. The other thing that we have here is off page difficulty. So this number is also out of 100. The higher the number, the more difficult it is. So off page difficulty, how this is calculated is basically Keywords Everywhere analyzes all of the people on page one and they take a look at their domain authority score and like how authoritative their domain name is according to Google. And so if you wanted to rank on page one for this keyword, you're going to have to have a pretty killer domain authority score. And if your website is new, new-ish, and maybe you haven't had the chance to accumulate backlinks yet, then having a high score like this, you might want to stay away from those specific keywords. Okay, so the other thing that we have here is on page difficulty. This number, yet again, out of 100, the higher the number, the more difficult. So again, Keywords Everywhere analyzes the first page of results and sees like how optimized are these pages for this specific keyword. If this number is really high, that means like, y'all, like these uh, results here, they're pretty optimized. They're pretty solid. So if you want to show up on page one, you're going to have to have enough backlinks, some some serious domain authority juice, and you're going to have to optimize your page, your post 
pretty perfectly. Okay, so that is the breakdown of that. If you did want more information on that, keywords everywhere, links to how these things are calculated and literally runs through the equations of them. And then they also give you the detailed breakdown of uh, this data showing up right here. So if you click detailed breakdown, it will break down like how it got this information based on the first page search results. So this information for a free tool, it's it's pretty wild, okay? So definitely take advantage of this. Get more information by taking a look at this stuff up here. The next thing that we have here is the trend data for the specific keyword that we typed in. And as you can see, back in 2008, Instagram marketing really wasn't being searched on Google because I don't even know when Instagram became a thing, but like obviously this makes sense. But now in 2023, at the time of me recording this, it's getting searched quite a lot and it seems as the trend is going up with a with a little dip here and then went right back up again. So this is really good information to be able to see how are people searching for this? Is this topic trending up? Is it trending down? Like, what does this information look like? So then if we keep scrolling down, we're going to see some additional widgets here. So we have related keywords people also search for, and we have long tail keywords. Sometimes you'll see the same keywords in some of these boxes, but this is really great when you are kind of stuck trying to figure out like what blog post you're going to create or maybe like what keyword you want to target on a specific services page or stuff like that. So this is really, really good for brainstorming, especially when we're using the free version and we don't technically have credits. So keywords everywhere as of right now, their credits are pretty cheap and you can get 100,000 credits for only $10. This is one of the cheapest SEO keyword research tools that there is. To be honest, at the time of this recording, I have never purchased any credits from keywords everywhere just because I do use another keyword research tool that I pay for. But this is such an amazing option for people that have kind of a lower budget. So if you were to get the credits, you would be able to load credits and be able to see the monthly search volume and how competitive each specific keyword is. But if you want to keep it free, you can get a lot of information from this free tool. So this related keywords is usually connected to, if we scroll down to the bottom of page one, Google will usually have related searches. And so that's kind of where keywords everywhere grabs that from. And then people also search for it. These keywords are typically related to what comes up as you're typing keywords in. So a lot of people think that these like people also search for like these keywords that pop in in the drop down that these are based off of like your personal search history. But that's not true. It's actually based off of what Google thinks you're going to type in based on what other people are searching for. So that's why these can be such a powerhouse. But the free version of Keywords Everywhere populates them to make them really easy to look at right here in this side right hand widget. And then if we keep scrolling, this is kind of where the juice is, okay? Especially if you have a newer business, this is long tail keywords. So what I typed into Google, this keyword right here, it's technically a seed keyword. A seed keyword is either one or two words. And as we could tell by the SEO information up here, they're pretty difficult to rank for in basically every capacity. So if you are a new website, a new blogger, a new business, you're likely going to have more success targeting long tail Long tail keywords. Long tail keywords also called key phrases. Basically, these are more specific and they're usually um, created with at least three words. Okay, so if we start to click on some of these, we'll start to find that the SEO difficulty will probably go down. So if we're like, you know what, Instagram marketing, it's not specific enough. What I really want is to create a blog post about an Instagram marketing strategy. Okay, cool. Let's click on that one and it will repopulate the Google search. And then if we scroll down here, we can see that automatically, like we're getting closer to being 50 or under, which is great. So it's like if you're choosing between Instagram marketing or Instagram marketing strategy, you're going to have a better shot at showing up for Instagram marketing strategy, but it's still pretty difficult. So keep scrolling down and notice that these change. We have different related keywords. We have different people also searched for. We have different long tail keywords like 
Y'all, you can get into a rabbit hole with this tool, and I think that's why I love it so much. So if we keep diving in here and we keep drilling down, then eventually we'll find a keyword that has not a high SEO difficulty. So this is a super specific Instagram marketing strategy for small business. This is a very specific long tail keyword. But if we take a look at the SEO difficulty, it's so much better than that initial one of Instagram marketing. Now, as you can see, we still aren't under 50, but this is totally up to you whether you want to go ahead and shoot your shot and see if you want to create a blog post about this Start and start to become associated with this keyword like through Google's eyes. Okay, so we're not going to go into like the full strategy of everything, but you can see just from me doing a couple Google searches, like how many blog post ideas we can come up with. So if we go back and just take a look at like Instagram marketing strategy, there's so many different blog posts that we could do, like an Instagram video marketing strategy, a paid marketing strategy, Instagram reels marketing strategy, like all of these can be separate blog posts on your website. Or they could be like if you're a service provider that provides services around Instagram marketing, these can be separate services pages. So I just love kind of how easy brainstorming storming keywords everywhere makes everything. So let's just take a look at another example here. So if you're a mindset coach, we can see the SEO difficulty, all of the information that we just went over, and you can see the long tail keywords here. So like what does a mindset coach do, mindset and empowerment coach, all of that cool stuff. So the other thing that keywords everywhere allows you to do with their free version as of the time of this recording is we can just click find long tail keywords right here and a new um, pop-up will happen and apparently it's not loading so let's just try it again there we go sometimes it takes a hot second so I'm going to close out of that one but basically keywords everywhere is going to scan this keyword and then populate a whole bunch of long tail keywords related to this one on one single page so that you don't have to kind of keep clicking in and out if you didn't want to. For me, I kind of like doing it this way because then I get to click on the search results here and be like, okay, let me see what this person did. Let me see what this person did. So I have never really used Keywords Everywhere using it this way. I know that some of my clients have. I think that it's totally up to you in terms of how you want to utilize it. I did just click stop search just so we weren't sitting here all day waiting for, for this to load, but essentially it already came up with 393 keywords found for Mindset Coach. And now keep in mind, it's going to find a lot of long tail keywords related to this because this is a seed keyword. This is a, a very vague term. Okay, so if we scroll down, we can start to see, let me move my face, we can start to see all of like these extra keywords that we can kind of, we can copy them, we can paste them into Google search. We can get into a rabbit hole with this stuff. Okay, so this is really helpful. Notice that we're not seeing the search volume or the CPC or the competition or anything like that in here. In order to find that, you will have to purchase credits from Keywords Everywhere. Like I said, it's one of the cheaper options. But the other thing that I think is helpful is that you can also add these keywords to a favorites list. So you can click this little star here, star here. Like if you're doing keyword research and you're trying to figure out some blog post ideas, go ahead and star these. And then you can click on the cute little icon again and click my favorite keywords. And then it will load all of those keywords that you starred when you were doing research. So we don't have access to be able to add them to our favorites list straight up, like from the Google search. So if you wanted to take advantage of the favorites list, it might be worth it to click the find long tail keywords here and kind of have it generate this list right here. The other thing that I wanted to show you that I thought was really cool for Keywords Everywhere to do is that if we are taking a look at the search results and the people showing up on page one, it does add this information here. So the Mindset Coach Academy, I can see that they're getting 
1200 organic search traffic, like 1200 people to their website a month, like this specific URL is. And so I can click on this number here and it doesn't seem to be loading right away. Let's try it again. Okay, finally got it. So basically when you click on these numbers here, which you can hover over and the data should populate, and then you can click on those numbers and it'll open in a new tab, this specific information for this URL. So this URL is currently being associated with 17 keywords. So this is another way that you can do keyword research is basically you can find out who's ranking on page one for a keyword, be able to click on their data here, click on their total keywords or just take a look to see. And then you can add these keywords to your favorites list, which is really helpful. And in the free version of this, we're able to see what position this specific URL is showing up on Google searches. So for mind coaching, they're in position four, but in for mindset coaching, they're in position three, mindset coach in position one, okay? so. All of this information is wildly helpful. And all of this, as of right now, me recording this, all of this is accessible to you for free using Keywords Everywhere. So what you can do after you've kind of created either your favorites list or if you didn't want to worry about that and you kind of just wanted to take a look at this information here and maybe you wanted a way to organize all of this, you can absolutely start your own Google spreadsheet, a Google Doc, and kind of create a list of keywords that you wanna target and blog post ideas. Or I also created an SEO keyword planner and it's $37, but if you use the code SEO love 10, you can get $10 off. And I basically created this keyword planner with this exact thing in mind. So there's space for you to brainstorm topics like, and I have an example in the keyword planner of like, if you're an Instagram strategist, these could be the topics that you wanna talk about. And then you can paste the keyword from the tool right in here. And then if you did end up buying credits, you could end up putting the search volume and the competition in this section right here. And then if we go over to the keyword planner itself, this is where you can really optimize like your SEO for these specific words. So you put your SEO keyword here, your secondary keywords, which page you're gonna target on this keyword. And then I have spaces to just make sure that you're optimizing your page correctly. So I will leave the link to the SEO keyword planner in the video description below, but just know that you could also copy and paste into a Google Doc. I just created the keyword planner because I think that it's a little bit easier to be able to keep all of your information in one place. But when it comes to keywords everywhere and this tutorial, I'm pretty sure that I showed you everything that I wanted to show you. The only other thing, like I said, if you wanted that extra data, you could buy credits and their credits are super cheap. $10 for 100,000 credits. I've heard people on YouTube saying that these 100,000 credits are lasting them nine to 12 months, which is pretty wild. It makes this tool, even the paid version, pretty, pretty cheap. But that is the overview for keywords everywhere. And I hope that you found it helpful. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. If you have any questions about SEO, about keywords everywhere or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below. But until then, I will see you in the next video.